Hi guys, it's Lisa back with a thrift flip. And I think this is the first one of these that I've done um, on, on video. But I do love to thrift and I do love to turn unwanted junk into treasures. And I'm going to start with this pair of uh, chickens here. And as you can see on the bottom, they're numbered. So that usually means they're good quality uh, figurines. Um, but I don't mind painting these because nobody wants them the way they are. And I'm going to turn them into something that will fit well into today's farmhouse style decorating. Now, I'm going to start with a couple of coats of, of white chalk paint. Now, I'm using linen white, uh, but any color of white will work fine with these. Um, so, I'm just going to... Put a coat on both of them, let it dry good, and, and then put another coat on. Uh, now, this is going to accept the paint really well because there is no shiny, uh, that firing coat that they put on pottery, This these, these figurines don't have it. They have more of a matte finish, so, so they're going to cover really easily. Uh, now, if there was a shiny coat, I would start with a clear coat. Uh, I would just spray paint them with a clear coat, and then that would help them accept the paint better. And that's not going to be necessary with these. Uh, now, I know I mentioned in my last video that I was going to draw for uh, to give those uh, snowman shakers away, and I was going to draw a couple of names, actually. But I wasn't thinking that I would be doing this video so soon. Uh, one day I don't feel like it's enough time. And so I want to give more people a chance to share uh, that video. And so just continue to like, share, and uh, comment. And if you comment, if you do that more than once, I'll... I'll put you in the drawing more than once. So um, just continue to do that and, and I'll try on my next video to, to get that, to announce those winners and then I'll get them mailed out very quickly. I wanna do those drawings pretty often. Uh, I, I'm thinking maybe about every third time uh, don't hold me to that, but you know, when I'm working on an item that I can easily ship, then I'll, I'll do these giveaways. Now I went back and put two coats, another coat on these. And then I also, once I let that dry, I clear coated them. And the reason that I sprayed clear coat on them is because I, I want, when I put this black wax on, I don't want it to completely turn it black, turn the chalk paint black. So, I just clear coated it first. Now with this black wax, I'm, I, I didn't find black wax. I just used a regular antiquing wax and add a few drops of black paint in it. And that black will um, overpower the brown and it'll be a black wax. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a brush and brushing that wax down into all these little crevices and then I'm taking a, a soft cloth and just wiping it off. Now I do that on the entire piece and, and, and I do that with the other one. And like I said, you just brush it on and just do little sections at a time and brush it on and wipe it off good. And so you're wiping those high areas off and it's settling down into the darker, I mean, the deeper creases, and it's gonna add some dimension. And then we're gonna be going back and adding some more dimension also. Now this wax is, is pretty messy, but it cleans up really well. It's just water-based and it, it cleans up really well, so I don't bother protecting my hands when I'm doing this. And when you're wiping this off, wipe it off firmly but not too firmly because uh, it softened that uh, chalk paint somewhat and you don't want to wipe it so hard that you wipe some of that off down to the color. So all we're doing is just wiping those high spots good and um, so that we've got it settled into those creases. 
Now, if it wipes a little bit of the paint off, it's really not a big deal because we're gonna go back and add a little bit more dimension of color just on the high spots. So we can always cover those little spots if we have any that, that we've wiped off. Okay, now after we get these done, I just go back and touch up a little bit more where I feel like I didn't get down into the creases. But uh, then we're gonna uh, let that dry again and, and then it's ready for the next step. Now for the next step, I'm just taking that linen white again and I'm just gonna dry brush. I'll put a little bit on my brush and then kind of wipe it off onto the plate. And you've just got barely, barely any on your paintbrush. And then you're just gonna very light-handedly uh, wipe across those, uh, those high spots. So you don't wanna get so much on your brush that it settles back down into those creases because we worked hard to, to make sure we have that dimension. And all we're gonna do now is just, just take the brush and just very lightly drag it up over the high spots. And we'll just keep doing that until we get the dimension that we want and uh, it's pretty easy. It doesn't take long to do that because these little birds have lots of, um, lots of little creases. So they're perfect for this dry brush effect. The great thing about this dry brushing is if you get a little heavy handed and you get too much on it, then guess what? We're, we'll just add some more of the dark back into the creases and, and we can just go back and forth if we need to, to uh, create that extra dimension but it's, it's very easy to just put very little on your brush and just brush it across there. And it's kind of hard to make a mistake with these. After doing a few of these, you're gonna look at these little figurines when you are at a yard sale or a thrift store a lot differently uh, because you can, you can do so much with them and they work well adding them to your vignette and um, you'll just look at it things a lot differently. After we do this, um, this technique, I'm gonna show you a couple of other t techniques on, on some of the other birds. I know we've been doing Christmas videos, but I wanted to step away and do something a little bit different. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing more Christmas videos or not um, before, before this Christmas, uh, but now if you would like me to, just Tell me in the comments and, and I'll, I'll do another one if, if I need to. Or I can do some uh, little gift ideas if, if that's what you would like to see. So like I said in the comments, just let me know what you would like to see. And then I'll try to get on it just as quickly as I can. See, it's amazing the difference here that this is making on these birds and um, the dimension of color that we're getting. Um, it just has a, a really pretty effect. Now I haven't painted the bottoms of either of these and I did that intentionally because I want it to be obvious that this is good glassware and it, so I don't want to do anything with those numbers on the bottom. Now this is a piece of chalk. Um, it's a chalk figurine and they put that, that ugly stuff on the bottom uh, felt to keep it from slipping or uh, scratching the furniture. And so I'm taking that off. I, d I don't want that on there. And um, it was easy to pull off. So I'm just taking a sandpaper and sanding the remaining uh, fabric off. And it's pretty easy to get that off. Uh, there's still a little color there, but we're gonna go ahead and paint the bottom also uh, because I will be selling these and I just I want them to have a, a better look on the bottom. Now, this technique is going to be kind of opposite from the last one we did. So we started with the white chalk paint on the other uh, on the other birds and this one we're just going to start with black. So I'm going to do a couple of coats of black paint and um, it really doesn't matter what kind you use. Uh, I'm just using regular craft paint here. Uh, if the weather were better, I would take it outside and spray paint it. Um, that would be the easiest thing to do. Uh, but I'm just going to do a couple of coats of just the regular uh, folk art 
black paint. Now, once this dries, um, I will clear coat it, or I have already clear coated in this. Uh, I clear coated it so that um, when I put this, um, when I try to do some distressing with this white paint, I'm just going over this with a linen white paint after it dried thoroughly. And uh, if I didn't do that clear coat first, when I go to distress, I might take some of that black off and, um, and then the distressing is not gonna look good because it's gonna go all the way down to the chalk. So that's why I clear coat it first. Now I let this chalk paint dry and I put in, I've already put another coat on it here and let that dry. Now I don't have to clear coat because after, after the white, because now what I'm gonna do is I'm taking this damp cloth, you could use a baby wipe, but I just use a damp cloth and I'm just gonna very lightly wipe across the high, uh, the high parts and uh, it will take that chalk paint off. Chalk paint is very easy to distress with a wet cloth. You could use uh, sandpaper, um, but I, I don't really think it's a good option with this because that chalk is so soft and, and it would be easy to sand down into. So it's very, it's very easy to just take that wet cloth and just very lightly wipe and you can see it distresses really well. Now once that dried, I just clear coated that to seal in that um, chalk paint. Now here's a few more birds. Uh, these are just little, uh, I think this one is resin and then there's the other two are ceramic. Um, but you know, just little dated looking birds. Uh, and we're, what we're gonna do with these is give them a cement look. Now, I just sprayed some alcohol on that because I just wipe them off with alcohol just to make sure that they're, cl they're clean and there's nothing to, uh, to keep that paint from accepting. And there was a little sticker on the bottom of this and that um, alcohol just takes it right off. So I do that with all of these and uh, then they're ready to paint. Now what I found to work better than anything for a cement look is, and I'm not sponsored by anyone, but uh, I like the Waverly Mineral Chalk Paint. Um, it, it gives the, the best cement look. So we're just gonna take these birds and we're gonna give them a couple of coats of, um, of the Mineral Chalk Paint and We'll do a coat and let it dry well and put another coat on and then let that dry well. This is uh, one color of chalk paint that I won't be without because I, I use it a lot. Um, it's great for, uh, for making a faux, um, a faux crock like I did in one of my previous videos. Uh, but it's also great for making items look cement. And I buy these little figurines all the time because, especially the birds, but I, I like a lot of the little animal figurines because you can update them very easily by just giving them a faux cement look. These actually covered with one coat, but I, I went ahead for good measure and added another coat just to make sure I had good coverage. This is one of the easiest te techniques that you'll do. And um, once we get a couple of coats on these and let them dry well, then um, all we have to do is go over them with the white wax. So it's just like that black wax that I used and there they are dry. Um, it's just like the black wax that I did, except that it's just a white wax. Um, and, and I bought that already. Um, this is a different brand than I usually use, but it worked really well. Um, but you just take a brush and you do need a brush so that it'll get down in the creases good. Uh, but you just take a brush and brush that on well. And then just like we do with the black wax, then we're just gonna wipe that off good. And you'll be amazed at how much uh, these little figurines will look like they're concrete. 
uh, if they're if they're a heavy figurine, then it, it's really really hard to tell that they're not concrete. I love to decorate with little birds. It they make a really good addition to a, a vignette. I wouldn't try it, but I would imagine that uh, you could do this technique using regular uh, paint instead of the, the, the mineral chalk paint. Um, as long as you have a color of gray, you want a warm gray, uh, then, then I think it would probably still work as long as you could get it to stick to your uh, figurine and uh, as I said before if you have trouble getting it to stick just uh, just spray paint it with some clear coat and then you should be able to get it to cover even with just regular folk art paint or uh, you know regular um, craft paint now you can't wet distress uh, regular paint but for this cement technique I think it would still work so um, I just do the same same technique. See how that settles that white settles into the creases, and it just it really looks like cement. Um, and I just do the same on all three of these, and it's as simple as brushing it on and wiping it off. Now I've also done these with like turquoise, and and wiping that wax on there is a really pretty effect with turquoise. Um, or you could paint paint them brown or tan and uh, do the white wax on that and make it look more like clay. And that's all that there is to it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you will join me on my next video. And if you enjoy this content, please like, share, and subscribe to help my channel.